Hey guys, welcome to this second chapter of Full Stack Airbnb Clone with Nextia's 13.4.4, Tailwind, React 18, TypeScript, Prisma, and MongoDB, and let's make modal UI. In this project, we are going to build this categories of properties, elegant and smooth hover effects, menu, sign up, log in with email or Google, and log out functionality. Let me log in with an account so we can see what we will build in this project. This notification is logged in, sub-menu as my trips, my favorites list page and we can save as a list of favorite properties like this and can see favorites and this one is my reservations list page and we can delete existing guest reservations like this and get custom message as reservation cancelled and also here in my trips page. We can cancel our own trip too like this. Let me show also my properties page that is a list of all properties that a user has posted from Airbnb or home option. Also let me show you single property page. And we can see the images of properties, booking calendar, post details with map 2 and let me book this property on clicking reserve button and we reserve this property easily and now we can see this booking in my trips page. Now let's click on Airbnb your home option that is opening a modal so we can fill out as category and after that location and enter basics about the place and images. Now let me upload one of image from web address as URL option like this and let me find an image from Unsplash as beach property image. Now let me put this one image by copy paste URL here. And let me input as title of listing and description. And after that let's input the price per night that we want to set and here we go we have uploaded our listing with price and now we can see our property and main home page and this one is single page for same with all basics details and we can log out from this sub menu like this. In first chapter, we made up to navbar UI, and now let me run npm run dev in local environment. Let me open layout.tsx and container.tsx file. Let's type modal tag with ending tag in layout.tsx file before navbar component and create modals folder in comp folder and inside modals folder. Let's create new file named modal.tsx and in that let's create stateless functional component and type it as modal as text and let's import that in layout.tsx file. Now let's code the rmodal.tsx file so in that let's type interface with the name as modal props and inside the curly brackets let's type is open which is boolean type and on close as blank function that is returning void and on submit function which is also returning a void and title which is string type and body as react.react .react element. and footer which is type of react.react .react element and after that disabled as boolean type action label as string and secondary label as string and secondary action is void function Let's define here modal type as react.fc modal props and let us pass all the props in brackets. Is open on close on submit title body footer disabled action label secondary label and secondary action. 
Let's define use state here for modal showing as show modal and set show modal equal to use state with initial value as false and let's run the code and we are getting this error because we have not defined as this is client component so let's define as use client at top of the file. Now let's make use effect as set show modal and inside that is open and that hook depends on is open. And let's define handle close as use callback function and inside that if it is disabled then it returns and do nothing in that case and else let's close modal as set show modal state as false to close modal box when this function handle close runs. And let's put as disabled and on close as its dependency array. Also, let me put state of show modal as false for closing the modal as slight delay about 400 milliseconds so it will animate smoothly when this modal box close. Now let me copy paste handle close function to make handle submit and inside that let me call the on submit method here and also make new function as handle secondary action. And inside that we are checking with if disabled or negate to secondary action as if that is true then it returns with nothing to do else as let's call the secondary action method. And its dependency array is disabled and secondary action and also let me correct also on submit as dependency for handle submit function. Now let's check the condition as if it's open with exclamation mark then return to null. And let's go to the layout.tsx file and in modal component let's pass is open props as true. And now let's go to the modal.tsx and let's give the styles as class name with justify center, item center, flex, overflow x hidden, inset zero, fix, z50, outline none, Focus colon R line none BG neutral 800 with opacity 70. And inside that another deep which has class names as relative with full MD with 4 by 6 LG with 3 by 6 XL with 2 by 5 height full MX Auto and my 6, LG Height Auto and MD Height Auto. So now we can see modal layer of background in the browser and inside that let's do another D with class names or translate, duration 400, Height full, and let's make a statement here with ternary operator as show modal to translate y0 if it is true that means when it would be open otherwise translate y full when it close. Also let me copy paste this conditional statement one time for the opacity so here with ternary operator and show modal to opacity 100 if it is true that means when it would be open otherwise opacity 0 would it close and let me make this class name as template string for this and let's make another D with class names translate height full LG height auto MD height auto order 0 Rounded LG, Shadow LG, Relative, With Full, Flex, Flex Call, BG White, 
outline none and focus outline none. Let's make another D with class names as flex, item center, P6, rounded at top side, justify center, relative and border bottom 1px, and let's make inside this button tag with class names as padding 1, order 0, hover opacity 70, transition, absolute, left 0 alignment. And let's import close icon from React Icons IO at top of the file. And let's put it as IOMD close and pass the props as size is equal to 20 and we can see close button and pop up in the browser window. Also, let me put in this button tag as on click method to handle close function for closing modal box. After that button tag, let's make one D for the title with class names as font semi bold and text LG and inside that in curly brackets title that we would receive as props for this element. Now in layout.tsx file let's pass title as something text ttt as props and in the modal.rsx file. Now let's work on body section of the modal box, so here let's copy paste title code block to here and replace class names as padding 6 and inside that body in curly brackets and let's pass body as props in the element and let's add more class names as relative and flex auto. Now let's make another D with class names as flex, flex call P6 and gap 2 and inside that D with class name as flex, flex row, item center, gap 4 and width full and let's type some text here. Now let's make button components separately and for now let's put in one D inside that so later we can style it. Now here let's put it as button component as tag and also import it in the modal.tsx. And now in button.tsx component, first let's make his client side rendering component with typing as use client and let's define as interface name button props which has key and types or label string type. Disabled which is optional and boolean type, outline is optional and boolean type, small optional as boolean, icon optional as boolean and on click method which is event and type is react.mouse event as html button element. Now let's pass all the interface props to the component with writing as its type as react.fc which is button props as label, disabled, outline, small, icon, and on click method. Now in the return statement, 
Let's put label in the curly brackets so we can now pass the props as label here in the modal.tsx and let's pass it as label as name of button and in button.tsx file in the return statement, replace D with the button tag. With class name as relative, disabled opacity 70, disabled colon cursor not allowed, rounded LG, hover opacity 80, transition and width full and now let's make class name as literal string so we can put conditional statements inside that. Let's make ternary statement for the outline as if it is true then bg white else bg rows 600 and let's copy paste it for the outline for the border as well so if outline is true then border black else border red 600 in for the text if outline is there then if yes then text black else text will be white. Let's make condition for the small props as if it is yes then padding at top bottom 1px otherwise padding 3px will be there and for the text if yes then text sml's text md and for the font if yes then font light otherwise font semi bold and for the border if yes then border 1px otherwise border 2 will be there and now we can see the button in the modal box. And now we can see the button in the modal box, and let's make icon alias as icon in the receive props. And in the button tag, let's put condition as if icon, and, and then only icon tag as size is 24. And class name as absolute, left four, top three. And on button tag, let's define on click props as on click and for disable props as disabled. And now in the modal.tsx file, let's make two buttons as for first as pass the props for the button tag is label as action label and disabled and on click is handle submit and let's copy paste it for the secondary label and on click secondary action is there. Now let's put props in the modal element in the layout.tsx as changing the modal title as title props passing and an action label as submit passing and we can see that in the browser for the same. Also let's pass secondary label as cancel text which is optional. So to make a condition for the secondary label if it is not present then we have to hide that button with the condition as if secondary action and secondary label both are available then only show this button element. And here in the interface props 
we have to define secondary label and secondary action as optional. So we have finished modal UI in this chapter. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to support this channel for more videos. See you in the next video.